Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss very important thing which is very close to my heart. I get lots of questions on LinkedIn and my on, through my YouTube channel from the college students who are still doing course in their college, uh, let it be BTEC, BCA or any other technical course and they ask me that can you give me some roadmap for doing data engineering or can you give some roadmap for doing data uh, for doing data scientist or machine learning or any other thing and and i i really try to avoid this type of questions and i try to not to answer them because according to me someone might get offended or someone might not like it why i am saying saying so because i think that one should never think about any specific domain while he or she is in the college itself so we, today we are going to discuss why one should never be, become a data engineer while he is in the second year or the third year of the college and there are multiple reason out of this the first reason is that this is very great misconceptions that the courses that is taught in our college are not that much useful but let me tell you to, that if you want to go to any specific domain and if your basic fundamentals are, are not clear actually you will struggle a lot while doing your job you may able to crack a interview see cracking interview is a not a great thing one can know the uh, one can follow one pattern and he or she will surely crack one interview but while working at at your job is a real deal so let's suppose in our most in our college we are taught operating systems right and the data engineers are, are someone who works on data and that to one distributed systems do you think that if you don't understand the basic of operating systems then can you become a good data engineer i don't think so so whenever someone try to ask me this type of specific questions that what should i do to become a data engineer and if they are in college year itself i try to say that you focus in your basics why because let it be any field let us start from the data engineering itself so if you are good at sql or the database then it is very much it will be very much easy for easier for you to get into this field so yeah there is multiple other things that is required for being a data engineer right but the basics start from the sql and let's suppose you uh, if your dsc is not great so you will always struggle to find a good job in a product based company and let put it aside that how much dsa will be usable or not that's the different topic right but this is the harsh truth that if you are not able to solve the basic dsa questions you will not able to qualify for the screening round for any specific domain let it be data scientist let it be data engineer let it be machine learning or any other things if you are not able to solve the basic questions asked in the screening round the hr recruiter or the the person who is taking your first round of your interview they will never allow you to go to the second round so that's the thing so i have seen many developer the who are actually good at their work they are actually brilliant at their work but they they struggle in to get into product based company and their salary is low why because they are not able to solve some lead code problem or hacker rank problem or any other competitive programming problems so i am not supporting any competitive programming let put it aside but this is the harsh truth so if you wanted to get into any product based company you should at least understand the basic of dsa and you should able to solve the basic dsa problems that is very much required and let's suppose while you are in college most of the college offers you 
DBMS as a course, right? Database Management Systems. There you will be taught about Postgres or MySQL or any transactional database. And if you learn it by your heart, then you will be writing a good SQL query. And let me tell you, most of the computing engines that is used in the data engineering world are actually have the capability of SQL. And uh, let it be uh, any computing engine like Apache Spark or data warehouse tools like uh, Hive or if you are using AWS then you are having uh, Athena or if you are using GCP then it, uh, some, uh, you might use, might be using uh, BigQuery. Everywhere you, you, you will be able to write the SQL query. So writing SQL query is a different thing. What SQL will provide you, SQL will provide you to think from the analytical perspectives. If you are able to write good SQL, it is very much easy to replicate the same code using data frame API or data set API, anything. So because the analysis remains same, right? All those trans business transformations that you are writing using SQL, if you are able to write in SQL, you can easily transform into data frame API or simple programming so that's the thing so if you are good at SQL automatically you will become better at your jobs and let it be using any other things and if you are better uh, good at GSA part that is the data structure and algorithm part so it will help you a lot to get into good companies and it will also help you to think from different perspective so let's suppose you will be having multiple things right so if you don't know HasMap and you will not never apply that thing in your code and somewhere you will uh, get stuck and you, you will write in some bad code if you don't understand the complexity of the code you will, you will keep on writing some n square or n to power q the order the order will not be maintained so it's very much required to learn the basics it's not only dsa or sql let's suppose you wanted to be a devops engineer so do you think that if you if you are bad at computer network, you will be able to become a good DevOps engineer? So I do have many friends who are great data DevOps working at Google, Amazon, LinkedIn, and they are actually good at their basics. That is the computer networking. Let's talk about data scientists. So do you think that if you are not good at linear algebra, statistics and probability, and basic calculus, you will become a good data scientist. It will never happen. So you you may be able to qualify for certain jobs. Then uh, you you will go to that, that jobs. Then you have to learn revisit those concepts. So if we have, we have to revisit that concept, why not to learn in the college year itself? So most of the college actually offers this type of course. So you try to focus on those courses. So and don't be, don't follow the sheep mentality like running, uh, running towards the, uh, what you call some fancy things that data engineers are making this much of money, data scientists are making this much of money, machine learning engineers are making this much of money. So I should learn these things. No. So you have to understand one thing that everything is a software before becoming any other engineers and if you are working on software always try to become a good software engineer what does good software engineers means that you should learn your basics you should be able to write from readable and reusable codes and you can learn multiple many other things like you can learn test driven development where you will learn the pattern of writing unit test first then you will be writing your code next and you will uh, you will learn the art of refactoring. So there are multiple things uh, which, uh, which you can learn if you are refactoring your code. You can learn some design patterns, right? There are factory patterns, single tail pattern, companion part patterns. There are multiple basic things. So you should learn all those basics. Then only you will able to be better at your jobs. Never ever try to learn from the interview perspectives and don't run toward the fancy things if your basics is clear it may take it will take you some times but you will able to get uh, you will able to achieve that 
so i will give you an example do you think that uh, everyone when enters uh, into some um, company they are actually good when they start working no they find some good mentors and as their basics are clear they try to communicate with those people who are working uh, working from two or three years or from many years in that particular company and they try to talk and and that communication skills actually helps them to be better at their jobs so what you can learn you can learn communication skills so i am not that great at the communications so uh, uh, and i have missed that so you can focus on communication skills you, you could uh, you should focus on the your basic concepts like dsa data structure operating system computer networking and any other course good course which is taught in your college i am not saying you to follow each and every course that is offered in your college but all those core courses will be always be required at your jobs and that will actually help you to be a specific domain person as a data 